Steve Hayes, in your book, Cheney, you write this, Cheney's real influence is unseen. It lies in his ability to work the le levers of power at the highest levels of the U.S. government and more directly in his private conversations with George W. Bush. For more than 200 years, vice presidents, generally an ambitious lot, sought more power and craved more recognition. Cheney, who certainly does not want for influence, dislikes the attention that comes with it, so he does his best to avoid it. Am I the evil genius in the corner that nobody ever sees come out of his hole? Cheney said in 2004, it's a nice way to operate, actually. To many, Cheney is a man almost devoid of passion. His admirers find his demeanor reassuring. It's, it says he is content and contemplative, unshakable, discreet. To his critics, it registers as scheming, uncaring, and secretive. That's the man you found. Which one? I think in some ways both, actually. Uh, I, I mean, I tend to think that he's much more uh, unshakable. He's, he, the, the things he says in public are typically the things he believes in private. And in that way, he's, he's not terribly complicated. In other ways, he is quite complicated. I mean, I think he does have, uh, he, he is able to work the levers of power behind the scenes. And I think the caricature that we've seen of him painted thus far and through s almost seven years of the Bush administration in some ways is the polar opposite of the man that Dick Cheney really is. But he was uh, asked <clears throat> about the firing of Donald Rumsfeld. And you say in the book that he was prepared to go on television, if asked, and say he opposed the president in that firing. Yeah, and, and it would have been an extraordinary moment. Uh, he's, he has publicly uh, taken a different position than the president one other time with uh, respect to, to his daughter Mary and the issue of gay marriage. Uh, but he was preparing in, in a murder board session before uh, another Sunday show. He, he was, was asked. He was not asked. He was, and he was not asked on air. But he never does anything in terms of operating or working behind the scenes bureaucratically, which he's very, very effective at, that the president either does not direct him to do or approve of. Is that correct? I agree with that entirely. Do you, is he aware, conscious of the negative ratings he has? He is. I mean, in, in some ways, it seems not to bother him at all, it, but he does pay attention to it. At, at one point, uh, we were discussing a book that had been really critical of, of him, and he said to me, yeah, I did the index flip and looked, and there it was, and there were these accusations, and I found them not credible. And, and at another point, he talked about watching Jay Leno on Valentine's Day of this year and seeing Jay Leno make fun of the shooting incident uh, from more than a year ago, and, and the vice president said, it never ends, never goes away. Do you think President and Vice President, in their minds, it's full speed ahead on Iraq? I think it is. I would say about Cheney, I think it's been incredibly destructive to the process that Cheney has his own secret channel with the, with the, with the President. That you have these political discussions, Cheney sits in the meeting silently, and then it's a secret back channel between the two. I think it's disrupted uh, the entire White House. The other thing that's interesting... But, but it's, it's what the President wants. That's he true. wants that sort of, okay, Dick, what do you really if think? If the president didn't want that channel, he could close it. Obviously. The other interesting thing, there's a parlor game about, has Cheney changed? I think we've seen from Steve's book, he hasn't changed that much. He's always been this way. David Brooks, Bob Ford, Steve Hayes.